Hey guys, so something few and it is on stone key. Now to activate it, you just have to break one of the blocks in the ground and when you do so, it's going to replace it, but you can also use the output to do something. Yeah, I'm very professional, but here's the whole redstone and as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated than it sounds, but it's actually very useful. It's more useful than a um, torch key because you don't have to carry a redstone torch around, which many people don't do that. And you can just have a pick on you, which many people carry around. But if you, even if you don't have one, you can just break it with your fists and you can activate it. Now it's also going to give a one tick pulse, which is very useful because you can use on a very simple, very simple T flip flop or just use it as a pulse. But yeah, that's basically it. Now I'm going to go with a brief explanation on how it works. So the way it works is very simple. So below the block that is going to be broken to activate it, you have a um, budded piston and when you activate it, when you update it, it's going to push the block around together with the piston and this double extender is going to push the, the stone up so it's going to make the 4B signals again. Now, while it's doing that, it's going to dispense some lava bucket. So, because there will be water below here, it's going to make another stone block, and you can use it again when when you activate it again. So, yeah, as you can see, it it will work just fine, and it will also redo the bird. But yeah, also I want to thank Cassius from the channel Mizuma Games because he came gave me a nice idea to make this completely sim s sorry completely silent because you don't have any water running because r uh, still water doesn't make any sound and you also don't have lava here so you just have the lava inside that dispenser but yeah so that's pretty nice and speaking of Cass he helped me making this second design which is a little bit smaller than the other one because this one is a hundred and eight blocks and the other one is 120 because this one uses a piston they are differently but yeah and this one is a little bit more different because it has two butter pistons so when one is activated the other one will be updated as well so it's going to activate both both of the systems together and it's going to retract this double extender making letting the water run over here and dispensing a lava bucket to make another another stone block and when it does that it's going to make it go up now as you can see it's going to leave the lava over here which is not very nice but it still is more compact than the other one and it looks much nicer now oops sorry the weird flag but I'm not going to do a tutorial on this video, but if you are inter interested on one, just ask me in the comments. I also will put the the channel for Cassiel's channel, the Maizuma Games channel, on the in the description, so be sure to check that out. But I think that's basically it, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.